Here we have the Radio Shack TRC 1080 radios and the Macom EM27 radios. These are easily converted to work on the 10 meter band. These radios do suffer from battery leakage but are repairable. Most people say when the battery leaks scrap them but they are repairable. If you want to put the time and effort in you can repair them. The area the battery leaks is right next to the 5 volt regulator and the receive and transmit switching transistors. Once you established which components have been eaten away you, they are easily replaced with uh, more discrete components rather than surface mount components. First of all, make sure you have a working radio. Right, it's booted up onto the UK Legal 40 band. Let's check it's actually working. Yes, I can be heard on another radio. Usually when the switching transistors go, it will indicate um, it's transmitting on the screen, but there will be no RF output. So that is a good a, a way of checking if the transistors have been eaten away. Now let's put it in European mode. Okay, let's now let's test it again, make sure it's working correctly. One, two, three, four, yes, I can hear myself on another radio, so that's working correctly. Right, let's turn it off. This time it's going to be booting up into stealth mode. So you push the M4 button and you turn the power on. It is now booted up into stealth mode. As it says UK, but it is on the US European frequencies. Now it's in stealth mode. We can access the extra functions programmed into the processor. So if I push M2, it is now AM receive. Unfortunately it won't transmit in AM because it's missing the relevant components on the circuit board but it will receive AM. And if I push M2 again it will now go back to FM. Right, now let's tune up to the 10 meter band. We can either do by this method and step up through each section until we get up to 29 megahertz. And now change the control. It's on 29605. Forget about the 25, little 25 in the corner, that's not relevant anymore can't get off that rid of that off the display but you now say it's still five kilohertz high how do I drop five kilohertz well you push the M1 and the M6 button and that drops it by five kilohertz all right let's put it into repeater mode push M1 so fun is flashing Push M7, now puts it into repeater mode, which means if you put it on the frequency you want to transmit on, and then turn the control to the, trans to the frequency you want to receive on, when you trans key up, it will transmit 
on one frequency and receive on another frequency whatever you selected and to come out of that push F7 again and here is the proof hello one two three that it is transmitting on the 10 meter band the highest frequency it will tune to is 29650 and then it rolls over back to the lowest frequency which is 25160 but it will not transmit over that full range because the VCO hasn't got the width. To come out of the uh, stealth mode and go back to the normal CV mode, all you do is turn the power off. Turn the power back on and it's back on the UK frequencies. and the EU frequencies so it's M4 power it on and you're into stealth mode this stealth mode modification to access the uh, frequencies and features already pro programmed into the CPU is available on the internet and is easily found. I'm not going to tell you how to do it but there is an anomaly in the instructions which I had to figure out myself. This is an easy way to get onto 10 meters FM and keep the radio working on 11 meters CB band. I've already modified three radios and I have another three radios to modify. I've also changed the backlight from the horrible orange lights to clear diffused white LEDs which makes the display much easier to read. These radios are also known with the badge names of Stablo for European radios and Zodiac for the American market so there are quite a few variations and possibly Cherokee as well is another name with the same radio design and they've probably all got the same features built in just needs the correct links on the processor to activate them so it's a radio that will easily go to 10 meters FM as long as you're legally allowed to use those frequencies.